hello everybody welcome back to my channel and in this video we will learn about creating the table in the database of our choice and the basic commands and keywords used to uh, do same so here we see that uh, this is master master is the database right now selected for us uh, so master is the database uh, provided system database provided by default which is here but we don't want to use this database to create our table objects so we go we want to go it under do it under sql practices which is here in the tables uh, so how do we do that for switching to this database uh, we, we use use keyword and the database name so once we run this command we have uh, command executed successfully and we see here it changes to SQL practice so now whatever we create in um, our uh, queries uh, gets all the objects gets created under this database so this is how we change the database now we can comment it out by using uh, two hyphens and uh, this commenting means it is of no use now it will not act as a query it will act as a normal text and it uh, the tool will not read it as a command and it's just a normal text now uh, we need we will be creating a simple account uh, table um, so right now when we run this select star from account it says invalid object name account because we don't have this object created under this database which of which we selected but this select key so when whatever we see here is in blue is a keyword uh, which is recognized by the sql it is treated as a command so select means we are selecting something from this object so here select is given to select anything or fetch records from the table so star means all the records and from means from this object so here we have written select star from table means we are selecting um, we are trying to select data from this object uh, account but since this object does not exist it gives an error saying invalid object name now to first so before selecting anything from this object we need to create this object so for creating this object we use this command create table and then the table name so table name table is an object here so table name what we are giving is account so to uh, create any table uh, it should start with parenthesis and it should end with parenthesis and rest everything comes in the this parenthesis and we use a semicolon to give indication that uh, this command is ended so any two commands are separated two different commands are separated using semicolon so it's, it's just an indication for by sql that he, okay this command ends here and this is another fresh command so here uh, we have already given this uh, parent start parenthesis and here if we see it is a close parenthesis and this is a semicolon to end the command whatever we write in here is the column name uh, and the type of data data type for this column so when we say data type it means what this column should accept the type of data so we are giving we are defining that okay id column should have varchar so it means it can accept alphanumeric so varchar is accepting uh, both numeric and uh, text and then we have a variable character means it has very varying length like it is up to five it cannot be more than five but it can accept less than five but when we say caref 12 it means it's a fixed character so it cannot be less or more like it it has to be fixed character of 12 and and this is variable character and this field what we are defining not nil is like constraint we are giving constraint on this particular field that it should not accept nulls so if we try to insert null in this field it will not allow us but other columns will allow we will see this in detail when we run the insert queries for this table but for now we have to uh, understand how we are creating the table now when we remove this parenthesis if you if you see we have all red uh, squiggly lines coming up which means that it is there's some error in the query and 
always the error lies before the squiggly line starts so if it's squiggly line you see on id error is something before that so when we try to run this query execute it gives same error in incorrect syntax near id that is something is wrong before id now we know that this is correct but we what we have done is we have we know parenthesis should be open here as soon as we enter the parenthesis it goes away and it looks all fine also two different fields should be separated with a comma so if we remove comma from here it again gives us a squiggly line that means there is some syntactical error so we put a comma here so we should always have a comma uh, after every field and it, its data type uh, and all the constraints defined and after that new line is not necessary so when we can have all this in same line or different line it doesn't matter it doesn't affect our syntax it's just a good formatting so if even if we put to all in one line it will run absolutely fine even if we put it in one line but it's it's just always better to you know put in a good format so for now if we try to run this it executes and it says command executed successfully and now when we try to fetch records from the table it will give us four fields because it is empty table it has nothing in it so it just gives the column name id name address phone the way the four columns we created in the table if we want to see the tables in the object explorer we put refresh here and we have to always refresh so that it pops up all the recent objects when we go under tables we can see the account table created when we expand and we see the columns we see all the columns defined as per what we have declared now if we want to remove this account table we use drop table command table name and this will delete the command table it will drop the table through from the database it will completely remove the structure it's not just delete and truncate it's not just emptying it is removing the structure the object so that's the main difference and the best way practice to write it is like this using dot so we use schema and the table objects and both separated with dots so this is the best practice here is working fine without this part because we are pointing to the current database and the we know it's just one object but in real time it's always good practice to use like this because you will have multiple schemas this is called schema and the objects with the same name in different uh, databases so we should be um, uh, very sure that we drop or we delete or we create right objects into the right schema and the database so once we run this command this will uh, execute successfully so when we try to run this query it will give again the same error that invalid object name because object has been removed now when we refresh this here and we expand we will be not able to see account table object because it's removed from the database um, i think um, i have covered pretty much about creating and dropping the uh, table and uh, fetching how to select the records uh, from the table in the next video we will uh, see how we can insert records in the objects or the table uh, what we create in our database thank you for watching